hello friends and welcome to this video in this video we are going to see how to solve the composite transformation numerical and how to use the calculator for multiplying the matrices consider the numerical rotate a triangle with vertices 10 comma 20 10 comma 10 and 20 comma 10 so we have to rotate this triangle about origin and in counterclockwise direction. When we are rotating in a counterclockwise direction, the sign of angle is positive, right? So you have to take the theta value as a positive. And then we have to translate it by 5 and 10 units in X and Y direction. So translation vectors are given in X and Y direction. So now here, there are two types of transformation. So first one is the rotation and second one is the translation. So this two type of transformation is applied to triangle having vertices. So there are three vertices. So let's consider the vertices are given by P1, P2 and P3. And now we have to check what will be the result on this triangle after applying these two transformations. So to calculate this, first we have to write the rotation matrix then second we have to write the translation matrix the rotation matrix is given about the origin so we can write the rotation matrix as a cos theta minus sin theta 0 sin theta cos theta 0 0 0 and 1 and now here we have to put the value of angle theta so the theta value is given as a 30 degree in counterclockwise. So we are going to take theta as a positive and having value 30. So when we put this value of theta as a 30 in this matrix, so we will get cos 30 minus sine 30, 0, sine 30, cos 30, 0, 0, 0, 1. So cos 30 value is 0 0.866, sine 30 value is a 0 0.5. So putting this value, we will be get 0.866 minus 0.50 0 sine 30 value is 0.5 cos 30 value is 0 0.866 so in this way we will be get the resultant rotation matrix so this is the first transformation is given that is a rotation now we have to calculate the second transformation that is a translation so the translation matrix we know so you have to write the translation matrix T, which is given by 1, 0, Tx, 0, 1, Ty, 0, 0, 1. And it is given that we have to translate it by 5 and 10 units in x and y direction. So here you have to take Tx value as a 5 and Ty value as a 10. By putting these values in this matrix, we will be get the resultant translation matrix as a 1, 0, 5, 0, 1, 10, 0, 0, 1. So these two transformations now we get. Now we need to calculate the composite transformation that is concatenated transformation. So V is given by CT. So we are calculating the CT is equal to translation into rotation because translation is the last transformation and then rotation is the first. Now by putting the translation matrix and rotation matrix so translation matrix we have to return as it is multiplied by the rotation matrix. Now when you multiply these two, you will be get a C and you know how to multiply these matrices. Okay. So you need to consider row one into column one, then row one into column two, row one into column three, then you will be get as an element. So the CT is a multiplication of translation rotation we have written translation matrix multiplied by the rotation matrix. Then the resultant multiplication will be get. So I'm going to show you the detail multiplication here. Okay. So this is the detail multiplication matrix and how these elements will be get. We are getting by this row one into column one. You will be get this element. Right. Similar fashion row 1 into column 2, you will be get these elements, right? And similar fashion, you will be get row 1 into column 3, these elements. 
So in this way, you can carry out the multiplication. So if you observe here, one into point eight six six, you will get here zero into point five, then five into zero. Okay, same fashion, one into minus point five plus zero into point eight six six plus five into zero. Similar fashion, one into zero, then zero into zero. And then five into one, and then similar way you can write this second row and third row. Also. So second row you will be get as a row two into column one. So you will be get here, right? Then row two into column two you will be get here values. Row two into column three here you will be get the elements. Similar fashion row three into column one. Row three into column two, you will get elements. Row three into column three, you will get the other element. So in this way, you can able to multiply the matrices. And after solving this, you will get the resultant CT matrix as 0 0.866 minus 0 0.55, 0 0.5, 0 0.866, 10, 0, 0, and 1. So in this way, you can able to get the CT. After multiplication of these two matrices. Now I'm going to show you how to use this calculator to multiply these two matrices. <coughs> so now I am using the calculator as FX571. If you're having the different calculator, no need to worry. You can also able to use your other types of calculator also. The procedure is same, but it may have in the different steps and different function keys. So first, you have to to get the matrix multiplication. First, you have to click on this mode. Okay, so you can see on your screen there are different modes are available, and we are going to solve the matrix multiplication. So it is given by number six as a matrix. So you have to press the six number key, and it is asked now matrix matrix A matrix B matrix C. So at one time. You can able to define three types of the matrices and you can able to multiply the three matrices at a once. Okay, so I'm going to define this first matrix by A. So I'm going to place one. Now it is asked me to the size of the matrix M into N. So this matrix having a size three by three. So I'm going to use this three by three, which is assigned to number one. So I'm going to place number one. Now here, the matrix is asked to define. So I'm going to define as a 1, 0, 5. So you have to press 1 equal to, then 0 equal to, and then 5 equal to. So this first row is get defined. Now the second row is 0, 1, 10. So again, click on 0, press equal to, again, 1 equal to, and 10 equal to. So this second row is get defined. Now again, third row, 0, 0, 1. So 0 equal to, then again, 0 equal to, and 1 equal to. So in this way, you can see the A matrix is defined as a 1, 0, 5, 0, 1, 10, 0, 0, 1. So this same matrix, now we have defined in calculator, right? Now to define the second matrix, again, click on this mode. Again, click on number 6. That is given for matrix. Now we are going to define the second matrix as a matrix B. So it is assigned to number two, right? So place again two. Now it again asked me the size of the matrix. So this matrix again having size three by three. So three by three again assigned to number one. So place one again. Now you have to define the B matrix. So the elements are 0 0.866 minus 0 0.5 G. So place 0.866 then equal to here minus 0.5 so don't forget to use the sign also so you have to write minus 0.5 then equal to and 0 0 equal so you can see the first element is defined 0 0.866 minus 0.5 0 right same fashion the second row we have to define 0 0.5 0 0.866 0 so again press 0.5 equal to 0 0.866 equal to 0 equal to and then 
third is <laughs> zero zero one. So I'm facing zero equal to zero equal to one equal. To. So in this way, the second matrix is get defined. So in this way, you can define up to the three matrices. Likewise, you can also able to define the C matrix also. Now, the two matrices are defined. So we are going to make the multiplication of these matrices. Okay. So to make the multiplication, click on this on icon. Now you can see on this calculator screen, the matrix is defined by number four. So you can see here the four matrix is assigned to a matrix. So you have to press shift and then press the four number key. So you can see on your screen, calculator screen, that one is assigned to dimension two data, third matrix A, matrix four is matrix B, five matrix C, six is matrix answers, seven determinant, and eight for transition. So you can also able to calculate the determinant also and transpose those. But here we are going to multiply the matrices. So we have defined matrix A and matrix B. So matrix A is now assigned to number three. So you have to place three. Okay. Then as we have to carry out the multiplication, so place the multiplication symbol on your calculator. So you can see mat A into. Again, press shift and four number. And the matrix B is defined to number four. So press again four. So you can see here on your calculator screen, there is mat A into mat B. That is a matrix A multiplied by matrix B. And to get the answer, you need to press on equal to sign. So when I press on equal to sign, you will be get the result. So you can see the result as an answer 0 0.866 minus 0 0.55, 0 0.5, 0 0.866, 10, 0, 0, 1. And the same result we will be get here by manual calculation. So in this way, you can able to use the calculator for multiplication. Now we are going to find the new vertices of triangle as a P1 dash, P2 dash and P3 dash. P1 dash can be find out by multiplying the CT with the original coordinates of P1. So we have already calculated the CT and P1 coordinates are given in the numerical as a 10, 20. So this third value we have used as a 1 because we are considering the homogeneous coordinate system. So remember this is not a Z coordinate value, it is a homogeneous coordinate value and for simplicity we are considered it as a 1. So the P1 vertex will be written as 10, 20 and 1. So after multiplying these two matrices, we will be get a P1 dash, the two vertex of the triangle. And this multiplication again can be carried out using the calculator also. So we have already calculated this CT by multiplying the matrix A and matrix B. So by default this answer is stored in the calculator as a matrix answer. And then we need to define this P1 as a new matrix and then we can easily able to multiply these two matrices using calculator. So let me show you the multiplication using the calculator. Now our Kelsey is already in matrix mode, so we can directly press the shift button and the fourth number which is assigned for matrix. So you can see here the matrix answer is assigned to six number. When you press the six number key and press equal to, you can see the answer. That is the CT we have calculated already. That is multiplying the matrix A into matrix B. So this matrix and this matrix is the same. Now this P1 matrix we need to define. So again, click on this on icon, click for more. Then for matrix, the six number key. We are going to define this new matrix to a C matrix. So C matrix is assigned to number three. So press three. And the dimensions of this matrix is three by one. So 3 by 1 is assigned to number 3, so press 3 and then we have to define the elements. So first element is 10, so click on 10 equal to, second element 20, so click on 20 equal to and third is a 1, so 1 and equal to. So in this way we can define the C matrix. 
and now again to multiply these matrices we need to click on first on icon in shift and by default this matrix is assigned to matrix sensor so press 6 and it is multiplied by this new matrix which we are already defined for the C matrix so press shift again for number key so C matrix here is assigned to 5 number so press 5 so you can see matrix answer into matrix C now press equal to sign you will be get the answer the answer is 3.66 second element is 32.32 .32 and third element is a 1 so in this way you can able to multiply the matrices using calculator and then we have to write here the answer also now same way you can use the calculator to find the p2 dash by multiplying ct with the original coordinates of p2 so this ct multiplied by the p2 that is 10 comma 10 comma 1 will be get the answer that is a new coordinates and same fashion you can able to find this p3 dash by multiplying ct and p3 so we will be get ct multiplied by p3 and then we will be get this answer so in this way you can able to find out the composite transformation matrix as well as the new vertices of given object and after that we also need to draw the figure of original object as well as transform object here the object is given as a triangle so let's consider this as a x and y plane and now first we are going to draw the original triangle so the coordinates of original triangle are given as 10 comma 20 then 10 comma 10 so we consider this uh, coordinates as a 5 then 10 15 20 okay and so on so I am not considering here as a scale so first coordinates points are 10 comma 20 so consider here 10 and 20 so this is the p1 coordinates then second coordinates are 10 comma 10 so here we will be get as a 10 comma 10 so this is new coordinate sorry original coordinates denoted by p2 <coughs> and this third coordinates are 20 comma 10 so 20 comma 10 we can denote here so this is a p3 coordinates now we are joining these three vertices by line so we will be get as a original triangle right now we have to draw a triangle after the transformation so after transformation we get 3.66 32.32 so maximum coordinates are 32 in y direction so i am going to write here also one as a 30 okay here you can consider 25 and then 30 so the first coordinates as a p1 dash are 3.66 and 32.32 so we are considering here 3.66 and 32.32 so this will be considered as a p1 dash okay. second coordinates are 8.66 and 23.66 so 8 and 23 so 23 may be appear here right so we are denoting this as a p2 dash and third coordinates are 17.32 and 28.66 so 17 will be here and 28.66 so approximately the coordinates are here so this is we get as a p3 dash now join these three new vertices again by using the line so you will be get this new triangle so this is the original triangle and this is the transform triangle by applying the rotations and then translation so in this way you can able to solve the composite transformation numericals as well as use the calculator to multiply the matrices thank you for watching have a nice day.